Hi, welcome back to Box of Delights. I don't normally do unboxings. They happen every now and again, uh, typically when it's a Chip Theory Games game, because I can't wait to show you stuff, but but the Kickstarter package arrived for Cloudspire. This was a game that I had the pleasure of demoing at UK Games Expo this year, 2019, and I just wanted to give you a quick unboxing, show you what all the final stuff looked like, and yeah, if you've watched my series, you know I struggled a little bit with some of the rules, but polished up by the time I got to demo this in um, Birmingham this year. And wow, it looks fabulous. So I've not opened anything yet. I just wanted to go through quickly and just do this kind of live with you and just show you what, what comes with the with the full package. So here's the base game. This is the box. This is a wonderful big thing. So everything else is a miniature expansion, a couple of mini expansions. There's a couple of things that are going to come outside of the box. Uh, they wanted to get this or kind of expedite the, the delivery of this thing to Kickstarter backers. So there's a few things that come outside the box. That looks fabulous. Um, one of the things I think, although I did struggle a little bit with the, the rules during my demo, that was very much a draft. So what I'd like to do is actually show you a proper a proper game where I've I've not just opened it up, tried to figure out how to play and, and shown someone struggling to learn but you know now that I've actually got the thing down and show you how it's played properly they have changed you know and timed up some of the rules since uh, I did that demo so that's the thing with Kickstarter previews you're not always getting the final the final product this is the rule book and what you'll notice is that they've gone for this kind of spiral bound okay actually so yeah this is the proper solo scenarios for the base game this is the faction expansion. So you've got an extra set of this one goes with this. Okay, that goes with that. Here's the rule book. So you can see the scenario book is a lot thicker than the rule book. The rules aren't really that, you know, that complicated. This is the cooperative scenarios. Okay. So you've got cooperative scenarios, rule book, and solo scenarios separately. There's the elf and Kaze, one of the th <laughs> the the little units that gave me a little bit of trouble during my demo. So there's tons of stuff here, and isn't the artwork fabulous? I know a lot of people were commenting, "Oh, it doesn't look great," but how can you say that? Look at it; it does look great. It looks fantastic. Lots of scenario stuff. Lots and lots. I mean, what can you say? There's just too much in here. Should we have a quick? Should we have a quick count? So, so solo. Scenarios, there you go. Hit pause and you can you can see what happens. So you can see that um, these solo scenarios are, sh are kind of stringed together in a campaign where success in one scenario gives you benefits as you move into the next scenario. So you can kind of complete them in a series. All right. Very nice, huh? Okay. Why don't we open this up and show you what's inside the base game. There we go. Spy. Wow. As per usual, I'm gonna uh, I'm going to get everything out of the box and then have fun trying to put it all back in again. So here's some trays. Now they did say that there's some trays provided outside the box that should replace the ones you find inside the box. The way they pack things in here is, is so great. So they've maximised every little space um, of the box. So you've got lovely inserts for your neoprene tiles. These are your fortresses. You know what? When I was um, when I did this video for you, um, it seems a long time ago now, but I really, really missed having the game. <laughs> this is bizarre because I gave it back to the team uh, when I went to Expo, you know, because we were using it for demos, and it was like I've been so desperate to get this back and just show, you know, play it again. Really, it's not often you feel that. 
about again. These are little pegs. Let's get a close up on these. Because these are the, the pegs that you use to upgrade your fortress. And yeah, I was keen to see what these were looked were gonna look like finally. Oh, they look great, don't they? Okay, so these go in the little slots on your fortress mats. They look great. And we've got a a little box to keep them all in. We don't need the plastic. Don't throw these away, recycle them, use them for other things. There we go. Wonderful. Here's all your chips. Let's get some chips in some chip trays. And I should say, do think about upgrading your health chips to these premium ones. Let's do a direct comparison, shall we? So these are the premium health chips. There should be about 50 in there. Is that a stack of 25? I think so. Okay. So, significant step up from the the health chips that they they started with, but you can really feel the difference. Okay. About half a chip, thicker over five, same size, but weight is what it's all about. Yeah, so those yeah, they just feel you can't get it from the video, but that's the that's the proper feel of these things. Okay. So we don't need these, we only need these. Beautiful. Proper big supply of these, obviously these are a bit thicker, so we're gonna to have to put some in another box. Okay, so these are our units, all the different factions. Let's take a look. Wow, guys. What have you done? <laughs> like a great, great looking thing. And the gameplay's super, there's so much to get stuck into in this game, so much to get stuck into. So if you haven't seen my playthrough, this is a tower defence game, played competitively, uh, three, four players, you can play solo against some AI as well. These are your shield tokens for upgrading spires. And what you'll notice too is that the, uh, these are ranged. They're a slightly different colour. I haven't got, like I said, I haven't got the old game to, com to, to compare against. But they were more of a bright green. These are kind of turquoisey green. Source trackers for your fortresses. There should be some health ones as well. And what's great, these were red before, so you couldn't tell them from the health chips, but they're kind of orange now. These are the attack chips. So they look great. That's good. I don't know he's getting them out, but that's just a good change from the prototype. Where's some units? Here's some units. Let's get some of these out. These are the green uh, grove tenders. Grove tenders, I think. Wow, super. So these are the same weight as those premium health cheap chips. Okay, good quality. A war briar. Okay. Super looking things, super looking components to play with. So much variability in each of these factions as well. Alright, so we've got all of our factions. What else we've got here? The dice. There are some dice, some minimal dice. It's not like too many bones. There aren't too many bones in this game, but the quality is absolutely superb. Wow, look at these. Well, you know, when I was demoing, we were using the TMB dice. Let's just do a little comparison side by side. These are your too many bones attack and defense dice. So yeah, this is the attack dice. They could have just gone with these again, but they've they changed the design to give you something unique. Okay, Cloud Spire. Don't they look great? Wow. Okay, and I'll see each. Look at these D6, super little D6. Each faction 
can have its own fortress upgrades as well. Different upgrades. By increments, these things just keep getting better and better quality. And obviously what the, what we can do instead of drooling over stuff, when we get to the here's the when you do your landscaping on your terraforming on your terrain, you put these on. Obviously when we do the the gameplay demo we don't have to worry about talking about the components again. We'll just, we'll just play. Cards, let's have a quick look and see what they did with the cards. Now I understand the ones I was playing with were prototype. So I'm not quite sure how these will be finished. Yeah they're gonna be like what we saw in Too Many Bones. Pretty good. Much better clarity, a great print, really good. Look at the colours, look at the clarity. Yeah, it's much better. Well done guys, well done team. Great job. Not quite as slippery as those ones that go flying across the room in too many bones. But um cracking job, cracking job. Alright, so that is our base game. Okay, here we can go. Go back in here, like I say. Might have a bit of figuring out to do here. Just watch it. If you want to see it done properly, just play the video backwards. All right, that's me putting it all the way properly. The rule books can go back in that box. Here's the extra faction. So we should get uh, some fortress dice in here, a new fortress, and a whole bunch of chips for the faction. There we go. So these are a brown colour. There's your three dice. And you should have a fortress mat under here. There you go. Wow. Dark. And then... We'll open one of these up actually, because you'll see the quality of these. Not so much to learn as you've got in too many bones. Uh, okay, my, like I say, my advice is to focus on what, playing one of these and getting to know it well. Scholars know little about this reclusive insectoid race. The Greek island Arichi was not originally part of the joining only arriving after hostilities have already begun. Lots of writing, lots of things, lots of story to get you into the world of Cloud Spire. Let's have a quick look at these, shall we? We'll have a quick look and then we'll get those miniature box open and see what's in there as well. Oh, we've got another expansion over here. Okay, so there's your health chip for your fortress. Faction chip. So we've got insectoids, we've got burrows, lavas. I'm going to like these. I've not seen these before, being new. A mugwump, a skitter, kind of like a grasshopper, perhaps. Damp skitter. A burrower. Okay, remember they double sided because they upgrade. Look at the star. Should you have a quick look at the second set. Okay, brood nest, we should see some spires in here, you see. Tunnel access. Hero. Etchery, like a wasp. Wasp, maybe. Well, I, hope you, I hope you're itching already. There we go. Super stuff, super stuff. Looking forward to playing those. Okay, the Grieg. And their rule book, like I say, was outside of the box, but it, it is there if you've ordered it. There you go, slip it in. Right, Portal Seekers. This is a general expansion, it's not a new faction. So, what we should see in here is new events, new relics, some new tiles for. Um, yeah, there we go. Some new tiles for uh, earthscaping. Some mercs, it said. 
some new landmarks. Okay. 20 market landmark chips, two large neoprene islands, and two new tiles, some relics of reference sheet and a rule sheet. Here we go. Some new landmark tiles. New types of landscape. And these are mercs. Mercs are mercenaries basically that you can hire and they can join any any team, any faction sitting at the side of the board. Okay, this is ten market chips. Okay, they can sit in the market and you can spend spend your um, is it source? Yeah, I think it's source you spend, isn't it? Not CP. You spend your source buying mercs, CP for recruiting your faction units. New landmarks. Landmarks, one of the favorite, my favorite things about this game, because I love exploring. So I don't know. Do you want to spot? I might, I might just hide them from myself until I start turning them over and in game and getting the, enjoying the surprise. And here's your mercs. There's a renegade. Good name. A dwarf like guy with a big old beard. I'm assuming he's a dwarf from the beard. This one's kind of a little spacey portal hopper. Maybe she's a time traveller of some kind. A mountaineer. I think we know what they do as a hobby. Fallen taproot. Okay, so these look like they belong to factions but maybe are outcasts. Hammer and chisel, a weak point. Interesting. Obviously, there's a, a rule sheet to tell you what each one of those things mean. So, a weak point is instead of attacking, this unit may remove the top two upgrades for an adjacent spire. Lovely upgrade. Okay, so that's. You're going to want it all, aren't you? Finally, then, let's take a peek. We've got some extra cards as well. so say relics and events, so relics are things that you can discover using underneath those landmarks. Um, sometimes defeating units will give you a relic. And events, these are environmental effects that affect everybody in the game. Again, well in with the theme of the environment. Okay, portal seekers. Cracking, as if you needed more content. And then finally, well not quite finally, we've got a dice tray here. I have the um, the leather bound ones from Too Many Bones, but these ones are great. Just a little cloth thing, uh, dice tray you can stick in your in your box. You're not going to be rolling that many dice in this game as it goes. You're going to be rolling dice when the spires fire. And that will determine how many hits they do on your units. But when units attack, it's quite deterministic. You hit for your hit and you defend for your defend. Okay. But yes, there is a little bit of dice rolling on your, your spires, spires when they fire. And also when your fortresses fire off some of their upgrades, they've got those faction-specific dice. Okay, let's get this miniature expansion open. So what the miniatures do... Let's have a look at the back. What the miniatures do is purely... Functional. Okay, so for each of the five factions, so there's miniatures in there for the Grieve as well, uh, the Greek as well. What the miniatures do is they they give a dimension to the spires. Okay, you can just stand them direct on the play map. Incidentally, this is the Cloud Spire um, backdrop here, the, the, the large play map on which you can set the game out. It's nice to have a lovely gaming surface to play on. So the miniature expansion, this is the first time I've seen these for sure. Whoa, okay. Two layers of whoa. Okay, so there's your five factions. And these spires will stand up on the board. The stats sit on the top and then your upgrades, your range, your shield, your attack sit underneath them, we'll move from the bottom. They're not too tall. 
I think that was one concern folks had was that that the height might you know just make things get knocked over as you reach across the board but I mean, they're all completely optional of course but yes I'll be using them and you'll see them in any demos so let's get them out on the board so here we have some creeping vines set up on the board and we've got well, it only takes three upgrades but different scenarios take different things so remember the upgrades are effectively the uh, the spire's health here on a source well and you can configure these how you want defense attack range and your spires sit over the top with the spire chip here on this platform creeping vines or shrubbery here that's upgraded There's plenty of them to enjoy. There's six of each faction, hence the huge box. Okay. Heaps of content to enjoy, solid gameplay, hours of strategy. Thanks for watching, see you next time.